So I've decided to do a little something different uh, today with uh, with my review. I just recently started reading um, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. It actually came out today. And at midnight, I decided to buy it on um, iBooks. And I started reading it. So I have the digital version of it. I bought it on um, iBooks last night, and this is how I read all my books. I don't really like hard covers too much, um, unless I really like the book. But I'm just gonna be doing a review via um, Instagram stories, and I'll be posting it up on my Instagram and maybe put up on a video. So as I said, this is an Instagram story, so I'm gonna have little cute effects, and um, you can see all my little filters on here, and I just wanted to do something really different and fun. So I'm gonna be reviewing the book as I go so I guess it's a little bit like a like a read-along or reading vlog I guess but that's what I'm gonna be doing today as I said I did start reading it last night um, and I loved it so far I'm on a I think I'm about at like chapter five I believe and so far it's really good it is exactly what I thought it was gonna be about um, I don't really want to spoil it obviously for anybody but so far I really like it so, so far we have Graham and Quinn who are a married couple. So I have to say the first thing I really liked about it is the fact that they're a married couple. I don't think I've read a Colleen Hoover book where the couple started out as married. Um, we don't know if they're actually gonna end up staying together, but we'll see, but I love the fact that they're married. So I love the fact that they're married and they're together and um, because I'm married too, so I can definitely relate to this book and you know, having a marriage that's kind of not going as the way you planned or the way you want it. So I'm really excited to read it and I can't wait to review more. Um, as I said, I am about four chapters, five chapters in the book and I, so far I can't really decide whether or not I like the main female lead. Her name is Quinn. She can't really seem to decide whether or not she wants her husband or not. She's like, I have desire for him, but I don't really love him. So it's just kind of weird. So I'm very confused by that. So that's the only thing. So like I said before, I really like the book so far. Um, I, I just got to chapter six. So remember, I started reading this last night and I'm already on chapter six. This is how like Colleen Hoover pulls you in right away. And I'm definitely pulled in and I really like it so far. So just a quick summary of the book. It is about this married couple named Quinn and Graham and they're going through something very very big in their marriage right now and it's a kind of like a life changing decision like a marriage changing kind of decision and it's really difficult for them and they're going through a hard time and we're just learning about the hard times that they're going through and it's really good so far I'm about six chapters into it and so far I really um, I'm definitely connecting with the characters very very well the way the characters met is so cute it's cute but sad and shocking at the same time but it's super cute like the things that happened after is actually really cute so one of my favorite things about Colleen Hoover is the fact that she's able to like pull you in right away with her writing and her writing style so so far the writing is really good and I'm really getting to know it seems like that these characters have more depth than her other characters have in the past um, but so far I'm really really digging the way that it is getting written and I can't wait to read more and I'm really excited. So until then. So I'm about chapter 15. I'm 15 chapters into the book now and once again, it's really good, but I just feel like Quinn at this point needs a little bit of therapy. She needs a lot of help because she has a lot happening in her mind and emotionally and I don't know why she's not in therapy. So that's also very confusing. Um, I also wanted to bring up another point that um, Graham's character reminds me of this book that I read a while back called Forever Interrupted and he is so sweet and this character uh, in that book was so sweet and Graham is like one of the sweetest characters I know right now. He is such a good husband. Oh my god, I love him. There seems to be a lot of back and forth going on and a lot of repetitiveness and I love Colleen Hoover's writing, like I said earlier, but it gets a little bit repetitive. It's getting a little repetitive right now. So I hope it kind of picks up a little bit. Um, for example, like our main character, Quinn, doesn't like a particular thing. I know I'm being very vague, but you know, I really don't want to spoil it. Um, doesn't like a particular thing, but Graham keeps doing it and she becomes really unhappy and it kind of repeats itself over and over again. I'm, I'm about halfway into the book. I hope it picks up a little bit, um, but otherwise I'm still enjoying it. It's still very fast paced. It's still fun. I'm intrigued and I can't wait to see what else happens 
with these two characters. So I just finished um, chapter 15. I'm in the middle of chapter 16 and the biggest shock just happened. And I am like, I was not expecting this at all. I like had to gasp and stop because, <gasps> oh my God. This book has now become very, very unpredictable and I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm expecting a lot to happen. Oh my God, guys, it's so good, but it's so shocking. Ah! I really wish I could say it, but I really don't wanna spoil it. Let's just say that um, Graham did something that I was not expecting him to do because the condition that Quinn and him met has something to do with what he just did. And I'm so surprised that he would do something like this Remember earlier I was saying how sweet and like kind and like nice he was? He is not so sweet and kind anymore. Even though I understand why he just did what he did, he is not nice right now. And I'm like, I don't know how they are gonna fix this now. Oh my God! Let's keep reading. Um, so last night I left off at a place where I said something shocking happened between the couple, something I was not expecting and it was very shocking. But then after a few like chapters of thinking about it, I realized there was a reason why it happened and it kind of needed to happen in order to like push this couple forward and I loved it. I was saying earlier how the main character Quinn needed to go to therapy. Actually, the therapy thing was actually mentioned. Um, it turned out that the couple did go to therapy and it didn't work out for them. Therapy doesn't really work out for everybody, but I'm glad that they actually went to therapy to try to work it out. Also, um, I said earlier too that this book reminded me of a book I read back um, in about 2016 called Forever Interrupted. And I'm telling you, this book is just like it. It's so weird how similar the books are. So the book I'm talking about is about two people who meet, fall in love, and after about six months of knowing each other, they get married. And then unfortunately, the male lead dies. His name is Ben and he dies. And the way All Your Perfects is written is sort of like that. So instead of having the male character die, um, basically Quinn and Graham's marriage is dead, which is, you know, which is a big deal for them, obviously. It's pretty life-changing to have your marriage not work out. Another thing that makes this book uh, similar to uh, Forever Interrupted is the fact that it's written where the past of the relationship is so good and it's so sweet and it's so nice and then the present time is horrible which is the same thing so the whole point of this video is just to recommend Forever Interrupted if you guys want to read something that's like all your perfects and I think it's it's really well written it's so good if you really love this book you will definitely love Forever Interrupted I also must say there are so many beautiful quotes in this book. Like there's so many good, amazing lines that will definitely stick with you once you're done. I probably will finish it today, honestly, because I read it at 7 a.m. this morning and I'm, like I said, I'm a quarter through and I hope to finish it by end of day so I can give you a full review and tell you what I really feel. Okay, bye. I just finished chapter 28 of the book and it is probably one of the most emotional chapters in the entire book. I was trying so hard not to cry, but I cried because it was so sad and so emotional and I was just like tears all over the place. I'm not even sure what's next for this couple, but I have an idea. I feel like they'll probably just end up remaining together because it's Colleen Hoover and all her characters end up having a very happy ending. So I really hope that they do end up together. But boy, they have been through a lot. After this chapter, I am definitely forgiving Graham for messing up a couple chapters earlier. And I totally hope that this couple works it, work it out and they end up together and they really, really should go. They, I hope this book ends very strongly with them happy, even in the trouble of their marriage. So I just finished the book. I knew I was gonna finish it tonight and I just wanna say that I enjoyed it. Once again, I really enjoyed it. And um, of course, Colleen Hoover definitely didn't disappoint me. The writing was great and you know, I really, I liked it a lot. Just to make a few quick notes on it. Um, like I said, I love the writing, I love the pacing, I love the, um, I love the couple, I love them. I didn't really care for them at the beginning, but I ended up really liking them a lot because they're both really sweet and they had a really good connection. And I really love it. I would give this book like a 3.8 on Goodreads. I'm only giving it a 3.8 just because it's not as like intriguing or as like, you know, as interesting 
as It Ends With Us or Ugly Love. Um, it wasn't as intense. It was still intense. I did cry a lot, but it wasn't as intense. So that's why I'm giving it a 3.8. Uh, one of my favorite things about the book was that it did give you a lot of lessons and things to think about, especially in a marriage and how marriages aren't perfect and how to kind of have very low expectations when it comes to marriage and just learn from what, you know, learn from the marriage as you grow. It's kind of interesting that I'm reading this book now because I'm kind of going through the same thing that Quinn was going through. She has all these expectations in her head and how she imagines how like her perfect life would be. And that's the same thing I did at the beginning of my marriage. I envisioned this perfect life for myself and it wasn't happening. So that is something I definitely connected with because you know, you, ha you go into a marriage and you hope things work out and you have all these expectations and it doesn't work out and you get really disappointed. And, but at the end of the day, as long as you have the person that you, you know, you're with, and as long as you have the love of your life, as long as you're with the person, as long as you're still happy with the person and still in love with the person, you guys can definitely get through anything. Because at the end of the day, it's about your marriage and it's about your relationship. It's not about your connection and your commitment to each other and not necessarily your expectations. So that's definitely something I took away from this book. Of course, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a great summer read, fast paced, fun very uh intense for the most part but not too intense um really really tough subject uh type it's very hard to deal with because the subject is very real for a lot of women and it's very hard to read but it's still good so pick it up read it love it and i cannot wait to read the next colleen hoover novel